market timing. There's something called the Schiller Index, just basically like the 10-year average price to earnings of the market. Today, it's this was yesterday, 31.1. You can see historically, that is extraordinarily high, which is why this concept of the market being expensive comes from. And historically, if you look at where the market starts in that Schiller Index, the subsequent returns for the next decade are extraordinarily low. The problem is it's not a good measure for trying to time the market because the next best year could be extraordinarily high. But the point is we believe and there's a strong consensus that the market is extremely valued and long-term returns are likely to be extremely modest. Um, Another example of market timing. This is a 20-year period, 5,200 trading days. Return was 7.2%. If you missed 10 days of 20 years, returns would have dropped to 3.5. 20, 1.2. Why would you miss those best days? Because they typically come at the very bottom of the market when everything looks awful. This is, the green is how mutual funds did, and the red is how investors in the funds did on an annual basis. Because investors, for the most part, are simply not patient. Uh, this is sort of the markets and how people feel. Uh, markets going up, euphoria. I feel great about this investment. Uh, as things go down, Maybe the markets just aren't for me. That's when people bail out. The fact of the matter is, it should be doing just the opposite. When the markets are up, that's when we're selling stocks. And when the markets are down, when we're buying. If you believe in long-term investing, that's simply what you have to do. Everyone says they want buy low, sell high. Unfortunately, as that picture of the fund shows, most people do just the opposite. Avoid financial pornography. <laughs> That's enough said. Uh, so the key is, it's not timing the market. It's time in the market. You need to be there for the long term.